Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and um, this came in the post not so long ago, and as a completely out of the blue surprise gift from uh, Lock Picking Skull, who is a relatively new member of the picking community, uh, but really active, uh, has a YouTube channel, active on Twitter. Um, really interesting backstory. Please go check out her channel. I'll leave links everywhere. Um, but you know, this is just really awesome. Um, I have only ever really experienced one pack clock before, one uh, Pacific lock, uh, but I've never owned one. So this is the first one that I've owned. This is the 90A, made in the USA with global components. Um, so yeah, it, it just completely out of the blue, didn't expect it. Uh, so I absolutely really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, really cool, right. I think the best way to honour a lock is, well, for me to pick it, really. Um, let's have a, a, a little look at it operate. It reminds me very much of a slightly more angular um, American lock. Bitting is pretty reasonable. I shall put the key over here. And I think I'll just pick it um, with a, is this a 1.2? No, it's a one mil pry bar. Let's see if we can get the a 1.2 mil pry bar, pry bar on it. Bit of a, there we go, more comfortable fit. Normally use a curved one, but uh, this was just a hand. So let's just, let's see if it'll uh, stand in for my, my preferred curved pry bar. This is a uh, piece and gemmating thousandth. I, I use this on all this type of, these on all, all these types of locks. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think there's six pins, I, I think. Didn't really count, so this is pin three. Quite a meaty click on that one. Pin five, I think. Good. So I'm pin two there, or one. Make sure that tension isn't slipping out. Pin six now. Good, good, good. Pin five again. And we're open. There we go. So it didn't hold us back too much. I think there were some spools in there. Um, yeah, it, it's kind of weird. It, it sort of felt like the fell into a slight false set almost straight away. Um, but other than that, um, I think it must have a standard pin in there. But I wonder if it's in a position where it's sort of barely needs to be picked. I don't know. Definitely some spools in here, I'm sure of it. They, they felt like um, very heavy serrations, which makes me think that they are um, some form of shallow spool. Right. Let's get in here. Okay, so, um, Actually, it was a bit different inside than I was expecting. Um, you have some nice key pins with little serrations on. This one being particularly deep. Um, compared to, say, this one, which is like a light serration. Look at pin six, key pin six. Really deep. In fact, it's almost like a spooled key pin. And these are serrated. Can you see the difference? Very cool. Then you got some very deep serrations on here, which is probably what I felt. Um, interestingly, these little spools seem to act very much like the, the serrated pins um, in terms of feel. Pretty cool serrated pins, actually. Nice and deep. I like them. And then uh, standard in position six. So 
the driver pins appear to be serrated spool serrated spool serrated standard and then the key pins um, where they're long enough they have serrations or spooling but seem to be serrated standard serrated 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 and then I'm going to call this spooled either that or they cut the serrations a bit deeper on this one either way I kind of like it so yeah that's um that's really cool that's a uh, Pacific Lock or Pack Lock 90A from Lock Picking Scale thank you so much for that a surprise um really awesome gift because I, I love stuff which I just can't really get hold of that easily here over in the UK so um yeah really really appreciate it please go check out Lockpicking Scales channel and I'll see you all next time